I'm Don Elkins. This is your WBOC Early Morning Vidcast for Thursday, August 4, 2011. Here's a quick look at what's happening. The new owners of Dr. Earl Bradley's former medical office in Sussex County say they've accepted an offer to demolish the buildings there. Harry Caswell of Caswell Builders volunteered to lead demolition efforts free of charge. An attorney for the bank that foreclosed on the property says the unnamed owners have agreed to work with him. It is unclear, though, when demolition would actually take place. The attorney says owners continue to wait for Bradley's personal belongings to be removed from that old office in Sussex County. A third alleged victim has joined a civil lawsuit, meaning that a child abuse case in Wicomico County just picked up more steam. You might remember Wicomico County State's attorneys charged foster parent Stephen Merritt of Mardella Springs with child abuse. A Baltimore law firm filed a civil lawsuit on behalf of two alleged victims last month. Now, Eternal Michael Belsky says another victim has joined that suit against Mr. Merritt. The private foster child placement agency, Mentor Maryland, also appears as a defendant in that Wicomico County lawsuit. At Prince Street Elementary in Wicomico County, the going got tough, and now some parents are taking their children in their going. Dozens of families in Wicomico County say they'll move their kids to schools that have better academic report cards. Prince Street Elementary did not meet state adequate yearly progress standards this past school year. 81 of 583 parents sent letters saying that they would not re-enroll their children at Prince Street. New families in the area still have two weeks to choose whether to send their children to Prince Street Elementary. That's all for us. Thanks for joining us online and have a great Thursday.